Hello and welcome to episode 50 of my Working in Todoist series. Uh, before we get started with this episode, we've now done 50 episodes of, of this Working in Todoist series and I just want to thank all my subscribers and I want to thank all you guys who are watching these videos. Uh, I'm doing this for you because I really, really want to help you guys get better organized and to really, really reduce some of that everyday stress that we all feel because we're having to balance our working life and our personal life and and oh it can all go all crazy what i really want to do is to say thank you to you guys thank you to the amazing guys at todoist for creating such a wonderful tool that can help so many people and is helping so many people uh, get their lives organized and get themselves better organized Right, let's get into this show. This one is all about moving uh, uh, Todoist and Evernote working together. And these uh, can save you so much time. And it really links in a little bit to the getting things done, the project support material. And for people like me who are, com are trying to be completely digital and not use paper filing, uh, this is a godsend. So, Let's have a look at this first task I've got here. Review notes in Evernote. Now, what I can do, and this is more the classic way, is if you go, I have a note set up here for 2017 P of A meeting agenda. And I've got my agenda down there and additional notes. What I can do is if I uh, do option click on the note itself and go down to here, it says copy note link. And what I can do is copy the note link and then I can paste that into my uh, uh, note section and then I have the link so now when I go to when I come to this time it says review notes in Evernote I notice that it's got a note and I can click on that and it will open up the note in the web browser version of Evernote now this is particularly useful for those of you who are using a work computer that isn't your own that you are not permitted to have Evernote as an application on your device. However, there is a better way of doing this, particularly if you own your own device like I do. Um, I use my own devices, my own laptop, my own iPad and my own iPhone. So there is another way of doing this. And let's go back into Evernote and we'll click out of that. And if I do option, sorry, control click and it says copy note link and hold down the option key and you'll notice it changes copy classic note link so I'm going to copy that I'm going to paste that in my notes section here and I'm going to add the comment now what happens when I click on that is it will automatically open the note up directly on my device and this works on your iPhone it works on your iPad it works on your laptop and it's a much much quicker way of getting to the the note that you want Okay, so that's one way of doing it. However, I believe there is another way. Now, I'm going to do this blind, but if I paste the note into Evernote and then in brackets, click, type in review notes in Evernote. Now, this might not work with the native, so I'm going to do that. Oh, now look what's happened. I have a clickable link in here. Now, I would love to say that I discovered this on myself, but I didn't. I have to thank one of my viewers. I have to thank Hey Meso, who um, pointed out down here, simply place the URL as a task, then in brackets, write down the name of the task. The task then appears as your chosen title, but is now a clickable link to the URL. Fantastic, and thank you so much Hey Meso for that, because I'd completely forgotten that one. It's much, much better than the one I've got up here, because now I don't even have to open my notes. So this is a really, really cool trick. And I'd forgotten about it because I don't actually use Gmail. And it's another one of those things that if you go in, if you directly link a task in Gmail to your Todoist, the same thing actually happens. But this is really cool. I click on that and now it takes me directly to the note with just one click. And once again, this is going to work on your your phone. It's going to work on your tablet. That's a really, really cool way. So remember to, how to do that. What we do is we click on, uh, control click on the note, 
copy note link if you're wanting the full web version of Evernote. If like me, you use native apps on all of your devices, copy classic note link, add task, paste in the link, and then in brackets, review this note. Click save, and you can add in your, um, you know, I can do at uh, iPad, iPad, I can type in my iPad, and boom, and then add the task, and now, as I say, I can just click on that link, and boom, I can get straight into it. A really, really, really useful trick. Anyway, I hope that's been um, helpful to you. Uh, don't forget, if you have any questions at all, please leave a note in the comment section below and I will answer the questions. Um, what I should point out is, uh, now that we've reached 50 episodes in Todoist, that's it for Todoist for the time being. I will be doing little bits on Todoist, but I'm going to be moving on to another application from episode 51 onwards. Um, there will be some hints on my uh, Twitter feed, so don't forget if you want to know which application I'm going to be putting out some teasers on Twitter uh, over the next uh, week, but we'll be starting with a new application next week uh, and we'll do another 50 episodes on that particular one. However, please uh, don't want to, do not fear, uh, as and when new ideas or questions come up on Todoist, I will continue the Todoist series, but I'm going to start shifting the focus onto another application, which can also help you to be better organized and to really support you in your endeavor to be stress-free and organized. Okay, so that's it for episode 50. I hope you have a very productive week and I'll see you in the next episode.